Welcome to Fiji Foot. Fiji Foot is a Fiji football production which aims to bring you the best football activities, highlights from around the country and the Oceania region. The new Fiji Football Association transfer and registration window opened this past Monday. Fiji FA Chief Executive Officer Bob Kumar has more details. Yes, um, as per requirements of FIFA uh, regulations on the uh, player status and transfer, uh, we are required to have two window systems in the season, one at the beginning of the season and one at the middle of the season. Our new season will kick off in September 2013 and as, a require, as per requirement we have now opened the window from 1st July to 4th August so that we are able to have the registrations and things completed in time for the new season and of course there are other matches that will come in before. The regulations are first the player, uh, players seeking transfer from their current club and current association are required to apply to the respective club and to the respective district association making sure that the the application has reached the right uh, destination and then a copy should be filed with Fiji FA with a fee of $25. Once uh, the fee is received we will, we will endorse it, we will uh, make record of it and then we expect the district association and the clubs to respond similar, uh, similarly. Uh, we are urging the districts and the clubs to respond within seven days so that we can facilitate uh, the player movement as soon as possible. And any player, any application that is not uh, supported by a, a, re, a entry fee or application fee will not be considered. Furthermore, the districts that fail to respond within seven days, uh, uh, within seven days, will probably give Fiji opportunity, the uh, Fiji FA, the the authority to sort of uh, deal directly with the club and the association but we are hopeful that the district associations have been uh, involved in the system and they know the system they will respond to the request if they are in the position to issue the uh, release they do so if they are not in the position to issue the release they should explain to the player they should write to the player and tell him why he, he cannot be released and send a copy to the GFA um, we have already had the regulations required that a player may be registered up to three clubs in one season but he will only be allowed to play for two uh, two clubs and here these rules will apply if the player has already taken two transfers uh, uh, has represented two clubs in the current season and if he's applying to join in now he will not be able to play in the current season but of course he will be eligible to join uh, his new club in the new season the 2013 Fiji San GP Batteries National Football League continues this weekend after a short three-week break. Teams are eager to take the field as the race for the top two spots are up for grabs. The Fiji San GP Batteries National Football League resumes this weekend after a three weeks break and all teams uh, are eager to take part in the competition. It will be completed by end of this month and the winner and the runner will be determined. The winner and the runner from this year's league will be representing Fiji at Oceania Football Confederation Our League competition which will be held in Fiji next year. Premier Division Nassin has already qualified from the Vitilevu zone and we are waiting uh, the determination of Northern Zone winner which will be decided in few weeks time. Uh, we'll have a um, Viti Levu and Vanua Levu Premier Division playoff from where the Premier Division winner, uh, Premier Division National League winner will be decided. Along with the National Football League, the International Veterans Tournament will also be held this weekend at Prince Charles Park. We have been talking about this for, for over a year. In fact, we were supposed to have something last year. We have this uh, counterpart, uh, New Zealand Football Inc. Uh, in New Zealand, who have been, uh, uh, who are associate member of Fiji FA, and uh, we have been working very closely with them. So last year they organized a tournament in uh, New Zealand, and this year we have decided from henceforth we will host it in Fiji, and it is a joint venture with the New Zealand Football Inc. and Fiji Football Association. 
the current uh, uh, tournament that will kick off the, this Friday is being sponsored by uh, jointly by RC Manubhai and Epco Coating Limited. The new Sori Town Council has assured Fiji Football Association that Watu the Kumbu Park will be ready in time to host the 2013 Ink Mobile Battle of the Giants. I have been uh, in correspondence with the uh, Nasori Town Council's uh, CEO and who has uh, replied in, uh, in an email saying that the ground would be ready in time for the uh, Ink Mobile Battle of Giants to kick off later August. I am trying to make arrangements to meet the town clerk and uh, also if uh, the possibilities are there then we will enter into a MOU and uh, with conditions attached. I have been assured by certain people that uh, the groundwork is continuing and uh, in fact uh, the seed planting seeds will arrive, grass seeds will ar arrive this weekend and uh, probably the planting and things will take place from next week. Uh, the CEO is expected back in the office early next week and we will make efforts to go and meet him and also inspect the ground. In the event Nasori Town Council is not able to provide the ground in time, uh, which we should know next week, then we will look at alternate venues. Nasinu was crowned the undisputed champion during the 2013 Vodafone Fiji FEC Premier Division competition at Prince Charles Park a fortnight ago. Here are the highlights from the Premier Division competition.
a short one Matthew mistimes it and coming nicely for Robert and Robert Nair in the ninth minute of play has opened the account for the Lincoln refrigeration Nasinu side here at Prince Charles Park in Nandy yeah definitely as we look at it the free kick floated in by Nathan on the left uh, where the Lummi defended by yeah, and mistime. he followed through and there was no one marking uh, Robert on the far side he had a free uh, walk tap in uh, rather on the far post and now the Lummi he wants the stadium <laughs> already you can see green seats but he wants the stadium with a spectacular like Siri player to Na Nathan Kumar they're coming out now but you look at it again they floated long again and uh, it's not going to be of any effect for them uh, but fortunately then as Lemmy Flair fell and Koshik looks for the through pass and Mario Tulao flicks it in making amends for all uh, the earlier misses uh, by Mario Tulao and offensive flick in by Mario Tulao in the 42nd minute of play and that would have certainly brought a lot of smiles to his daddy, Praveen Singh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. As soon as Madhu flicked it in, Praveen Singh did a flick dance as well. As we look at it again, side. in it comes. And a fancy footwork. And he's, as I said, the keeper has been uh, the, uh, the uh, downfall yeah. for the uh, Lemmy side. Towards that far touchline side, brought back as they do so. The referee points to the centre spot. It's half time here at uh, Prince Charles Park in Nandy in the first of the premier matches here this morning. And at the half time mark, it's a Lincoln refrigeration, Nasinu side two, Lemmy nil. While the teams take a break, we'll take a break here at Prince Charles Park. Taking a half time break, I'm Raymond Stoddart. And Nasino side uh, players were watching the ball rather than the player as Na Lemmy on the broadcast touchline side. Back in field again uh, to um, da Daniel Das. Das works it way. The flag stay down. Out comes Swimbuka. And following through, Amit Chand has Amit Singh has opened one for the Nandi Lemmy side in the 12th minute of play. And uh, you look at a concerned <laughs> Lincoln mm. refrigeration team director as we looked at it again. The through pass, but it was coming in. No uh, Nasinu players wanting to come to uh, uh, to try and cut it out. And we're seeing it again now. The through pass by Daniel Das. No one marking uh, um, Amit uh, Singh. And in the 11th minute of play, he pulled one back. Swimbuka couldn't do much here. And it has gone to a dangerous situation now. Out on towards the broadcast. Frank's pass is a tired looking pass. As on towards the broadcast side. Uh, and uh, Nasinu. And all again, Nasinu. Nathan lays it on for Pranil. Pranil turns and drives. And Pranil shot underneath the arms of Wawa Tambua. And that certainly will bring a lot of relief in the 27th minute of play. Pranil uh, Chand 
and uh, has put uh, the Lincoln Refrigeration Masinu side up by three goals to one. As we look at it, Nathan Kumar unselfishly gives it into the path of Pranil. And Pranil Para, as he's known, comes in with a power shot and it skids underneath uh, the arms of Uawa Tambua to put the Lincoln Refrigeration Nasinu side up by three goals to one. He pass onto Osea Lotiki. Lotiki squares it back in field. In the way further to Nathan Kumar. Nathan finds Matthew Tuilau. Matthew now with a chance. And Matthew Tuilau has made it four goals to one in the 42nd minute of play. Nasinu, Lincoln Refrigeration Nasinu go up by four goals to one with Matthew getting his second. As we look at it again, in the replay as the Nasinu bench not jubilant at the moment and Nathan Kumar this time better distributed by him and Tuilau just on the edge and places it underneath the arms of goalkeeper Wawa Tambua. Yeah, Madhi Tuilau's second goal and an all signed, sealed and delivered three points. In the Referees from around the Oceania region, including Fiji, now have more skills. This comes as a FIFA referee's course was held in Fiji last month. to have some extra participants of us in Fiji. If we have to take it overseas, then we've got only chance for three. So this is something very beneficial. There's seven of our participants in there. Mm -hmm. And referees play an important role in the game of football. And as I've always said, for development, the referees have to learn the right tools, get the right techniques from FIFA, and use the rules, uh, rules and regulations of FIFA to the maximum. Uh, in Fiji, we have tend to see referees that get old, would like to still hang on to the game, but it gives them an opportunity to become instructors. And once they become instructors, they have to show the right part to the youth and the, for the youth to come to the right way. They cannot break the rules of the game and they cannot bend the rules. There's regulations in FIFA which st stipulates how the referees should be molded, what fitness test and they should pass. And this is something that should we should take into, course, uh, uh, into account and make sure our referees instructor takes into account too. 
and this is something that we will uh, strictly follow in future and we have been following and we will not bend or break the rules uh, for referees to do. Two district sides will represent Fiji during the 2014 Oceania Champions League which will be held in Fiji. Fiji FA President Rajesh Patel has more details. Passed in uh, Oceania Congress uh, in Mauritius, the 12 teams uh, will be participating in the O League this year. And the 12 teams that will be participating, there will be two teams from Fiji. So it's a good news for the Fiji Sun GP Batteries National League. The winner and the runner-up will qualify for the O League next year. So this is something that districts have to take into it and make sure they qualify first and second to get into the O League. And Fiji will be hosting the O League here. So that is something very good. It will be a tournament type of format where semi-finals and finals will be there. And uh, we are happy that uh, Oceania has come with this format and giving opportunity now to other island nations instead of New Zealand to have two teams always. That's the show for this week. For more information, please visit our website. We hope to see you next Friday, same time, only on FBC TV. Have a safe weekend and good night.